Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. President Zelensky says Russia is concentrating tens of thousands of soldiers for its next offensive in eastern Ukraine. Speaking to South Korean lawmakers, he said Russia will not stop until it is forced to stop and that Ukraine needed more help if they were to survive this war. He also said that tens of thousands of people have likely been killed in the southern city of Mariupol. Russia's defense ministry has blamed Ukrainian nationalists for what it called the humanitarian catastrophe in the city. Military analysts now believe Russia is concentrating its offensive on Ukraine's eastern region. More people are set to leave the besieged eastern regions today after nine humanitarian corridors were agreed between Ukrainian and Russian officials. The Slovak government has categorically denied claims by Russia that the S-300 air defense system it supplied to Ukraine recently has already been destroyed. Prime Minister Eduard Heger described the claim as a hoax, adding that Ukraine had confirmed as such. Russia said on Monday that it had used cruise missiles to destroy the S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems, saying that 25 Ukrainian troops had been hit in the attack. Further support for Ukraine will arrive from New Zealand after the country's Prime Minister said it was sending a Defence Force plane and 58 personnel to Europe. The team planned to transport equipment and supplies throughout the continent but would not enter Ukraine itself. Referring to the Russian invasion, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said such a blatant attack on a country's sovereignty is a threat to all of us. Emmanuel Macron has won the first round of the French election and far-right rival Marine Le Pen will fight him for the presidency for a second time. Sur ma candidature. Merci. Make no mistake, nothing is decided, he told cheering supporters. In the end, he won a convincing first round victory, but opinion polls suggest the runoff could be much closer. <laughs> Miss Le Pen called on every non-Macron voter to join her and put France back in order. With 97% of results counted, Emmanuel Macron had 27.6% of the vote, while Marine Le Pen had 23.4%. Protesters marched in the streets of the northwest city of Rennes, waving red smoke flares and holding signs. Some burned items in the middle of the street in protest at the results. Humanitarian agencies in Somalia say there needs to be urgent action to avoid 350,000 child deaths. The drought in the country is thought to have affected four and a half million people. Four seasons of failed rains means the Jabba River, the largest in Somalia, has barely any water left. There has also been a huge funding crisis with just 3% of the money that is actually needed materialising in the country. According to the United Nations, almost 700,000 people have been forced from their homes in search of food and water, and those numbers keep rising. Indonesian police have fired tear gas and water cannon to disperse hundreds of university students protesting against high cooking oil prices. Crowds of demonstrators were seen running away from the scene after a peaceful march outside parliament in the capital, Jakarta. Jokowi, as the president is known, sought to dampen speculation of a plan being hatched by his allies to keep him in power longer. The idea of extending his tenure either by changing the constitution or delaying the 2024 election has gained momentum lately in the world's third largest democracy after some influential political figures publicly backed it. The latest chapter in a Hollywood star Johnny Depp's legal battle with his ex-wife Amber Heard has kicked off in a US defamation trial. The 58-year-old has sued Heard for $50 million, saying she defamed him when she penned a 2018 opinion piece in the Washington Post about being a survivor of domestic abuse. The op-ed never mentioned Depp by name, but Depp's lawyers have said it was clear Heard was referencing him and that the piece damaged his film career and reputation. Depp has denied all allegations of abuse, saying in his lawsuit that Heard's claims were an elaborate hoax to generate positive publicity for Miss Heard and advance her career. And finally, Britain's Queen Elizabeth says COVID-19 left one very tired and exhausted as she talked to health workers and a former patient about her own experience. I'm glad that you're getting better. Britain's 95-year-old monarch tested positive for COVID in February and was described as having had mild cold-like symptoms. She later returned to light duties. The Queen, who is patron of the Royal London Hospital, spoke on a video call to National Health Service workers at the hospital who had helped to build and run a 155-bed unit to cope with the surge in patients. Her conversation with staff came as she marked the official opening of the hospital's Queen Elizabeth unit. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.